So if you want three diamonds to be non-forcing, then you've got a problem here. Similarly, if you played three diamonds as not forcing, and you had a hand that was worth a force, you would similarly have a problem, because uh, you would have to bypass three no trumps and bid four diamonds or something similar. Levensoul solves this problem very elegantly. Like I said, most, almost everybody who doesn't play Levensoul would play a bit of three diamonds as forcing in the hand shown here, or three hearts as forcing in the, the example I've mentioned in the text. So slow and fast sequences, as I've mentioned there, just bear that in mind for a minute. So whether East carries on at this point or not doesn't really matter to us. What matters to North-South is that South has managed to get their hand off their chest. They have a hand that wants to compete at the three level in diamonds, but it's not invitational. It's certainly not forcing. They're just wanting to compete. So they have an essentially weak hand. Um, that just wants to compete in diamonds. So that sequence there that you can see on the screen is shown, is, is referred to as a slow three diamonds rather than an immediate bit of three diamonds over two hearts, which would be a fast three diamonds. So that's, that's a very important point there. Um, if here West bids something, anything, over two no trumps, then North automatically passes whatever they're holding because they've already described their hands within, their hand within fairly close limits, but they know absolutely nothing about South's hand and they don't know what 
the two no Trump Levensol bid was based on. Especially if the bidding has gone past three clubs or three diamonds. So if West bids three hearts here, they must pass. Because if South was only intending to compete at the three level in diamonds and doesn't have um, a hand worth a competitive bid at the four level, then clearly it's best just to let three hearts play rather than risking going one off double vulnerable instead of allowing them a part score. So here, North, if West bids over two no trumps, North has to pass and let South, the pass takes the place of the, the forced relay, effectively. Um, because they, when West bids, South has another bid. And he just has to let South make the running if they want. And South will clarify what they were intending to do. Uh over the the bid by west so i'll just undo this a second So effectively, when South passes here, it's effectively showing that they were just wanting to compete in one of the minors. North doesn't know which, um, but they don't want to compete at the four level, particularly because they may not, in practice, have any defence to four hearts. And uh, if they only wanted to compete at the three level, if four diamonds would be going off, that might get doubled. And now that's going to be a poor score if three hearts is just making. In practice, I think East West would probably compete with three hearts, but it doesn't matter. So any questions so far on, on that simplest example of Levensol to allow us to compete as well as forcing? So if the interference over one no trump is at three level, then Levin Sol's out the window. Um, you just have to, to have some other gadget or some other means of um, of coming in if you want to just compete. Because if it goes one no trump, three clubs over call, then definitely anything that, that responder bids here is going to be forcing. Yes, a, a bid at the two level, Eduardo, is always just competitive. A, a two level over, a two level over call. So if it goes one no trump, two hearts over call, then two spades is just to play with five card or longer spades. Um, and that is just competitive. But more about that in a minute. Well, you can, but um, 
just bear with me a, a, a minute, Isabel. It's not a matter of whether it's a minor or not. What matters, actually, is whether your suit is lower or higher ranking than the suit that ops have bid. That's the critical thing. It's not whether it's a major or a minor. And and this is next week we're going to look at transfer Levensol, which even solves that problem as well. Um, but we'll we'll come to back to that in a minute. So bear with me, Isabel. We will we will uh, deal with that in a minute. And again, we're just going to deal with natural two-level overcalls today. I know that in practice, most people don't play natural two-level overcalls. Some do, but most people play some kind of defense to one no trump, whereby usually two-level bids are showing two suited hands. Um, the week after next, the whole session will be devoted to coping with artificial interference against uh, one no trump. Um, it is much easier though to get the basic idea of Levensol if you're new to it. Um, first, dealing with natural defense because it makes it easier to understand. And once you've got that under your belt, uh, we can progress to considering how it changes where the defense is not natural. So forget transfer lemon sol for now. This week we're just dealing with transfer, sorry, with normal lemon sol, uh, and I'll explain why shortly. Okay, so Isabel, this is addressing the point you were mentioning. Um, so, if if you could have bid your suit at the two level over the interference, then you can impete. Uh, you can compete using Levensol because a slow bid at the three level is now invitational. So if ops overcall, for example, two spades, then you're right. With standard Levensol, you can't compete with anything. Um, not at the three level, anyway. You could potentially compete at the four level, but that would have to be with a hand that really isn't interested in playing in three no trumps. Um, in other words, it would be a hand that's only interested in playing in game in your suit. Um, but if you could have bid your suit at the two level, so if, say, ops over called two clubs or two diamonds and you've got a five card spade suit, now you can compete at the two level with two spades. You would force at the three level with a fast three spades and invite with a slow three spades via two no trumps, three clubs. So if you could bid it at the two level, your suit, then the slow bid at the three level becomes invitational. Um, if you couldn't compete at the two level, then the three level, the slow three level bid is just competitive.
that's the other problem is that although quite a lot of people you will find know Lebensol, most of them probably don't know transfer Lebensol, even though it's vastly better than standard Lebensol in this situation. So it's important that you understand normal Lebensol, because even normal Lebensol is better than no Lebensol. If you can learn transfer Lebensol, which isn't difficult, uh, and you can find you know, a pickup partner who knows it and will play it, then so much the better. But better to play standard Lebensol than nothing. Okay, so not necessarily, Ellie. In fact, no, it doesn't. You're confusing, Eliana, you're confusing slow cupids when, uh, say, partner is opened and... Um, they've overcalled, not open one no trump, but open one of a suit. Now a slow... Yes, of course it is. Well, I'd be amazed if it isn't. It's such a, a standard system, um, a standard gadget, I would be amazed if the ACBL had a problem with transfer leb or Lebensol. If they allow Lebensol, they'll allow, allow transfer Lebensol. There's nothing, there's nothing complicated or confusing about Transfer Eleven Sol, really, um, as far as ops are concerned. Um, you just have to alert the fact that some bids are transfers rather than not transfers. Let me down, cold hands. Right. Hmm? It's not like no. Sorry, I'm I'll give you another quick example hand here. Yes, but Susie, if you if you end up bidding a new suit, whether it's as a fast new suit or a slow new suit, then yes, you're promising at least a five card suit. Um, not necessarily more than that, but you are promising at least five. Um, there are some sequences where you're only promising four, but I'm going to come come to those shortly so bear with me so let's three what Ellie yes but that's a that's not a new suit I haven't come to those bids yet Please don't, and just bear in mind, I will cover everything to do with standard Levensol in this lesson, but I can't do it all in the first five minutes, okay? I will come to slow and fast bids of three no trumps later on, okay? But a slow and fast bid of a new suit doesn't say anything about your control of ops suit, okay? Slow and fast bids of three no trumps 
um, do have things to do with whether you have a stop in that suit, but it's not that's not the same thing as a control anyway. Okay, a stop is not the same thing as a control. So bear with me, Ellie. I will come to slow and fast three no trump bids a bit later on, um, but you just have to allow me to deliver the lesson in in the logical order that's easy for people to follow. So, so here we have an example of a fast three spades. And this is definitely game forcing. It's not just forcing for one round. This is game forcing. It's not necessarily showing a, you know, a eight card spade suit. Um, but it is forcing to game. In other words, West has a strong hand here even though it's only a 10 to 12 one no trump opposite because here west could compete with two spades so a slow three spades via two no trumps three clubs would be invitational in spades and so a fast three spades as we've got here is game forcing which is fine for uh, East. They've got a maximum for their one no trump opening. Uh, they've got reasonably good controls, particularly they've got control of clubs. We, we tend to use Italian style cubits uh, in OCP. Um, so West has no problem just showing some kind of control in diamonds here. No, four diamonds is, is just a cubit, Eduardo. Um, if you want to play here that four clubs is beta by, by that's fine. But normally, uh, with OCP, opener doesn't start uh, initiating an asking bid sequence. So East can cubid with four clubs. And really, once we've started with a, a cubiding sequence, we tend to carry on cubiding. So if four no trumps is, is, if you like, a means of just keeping the bidding going, four spades here would also potentially be rolling, but uh, um, probably less enthusiastic than four no trumps. Uh, if you want, of course, if you're not playing asking bids. Well, like I said, Eduardo, generally speaking, once we start Q-bidding, we OCP tends to stay with Q-bids. Uh, obviously, if you're not, um, if you're not uh, using asking bids and, and in this series of lessons, we haven't reached asking bids yet. So in practice, So I think for for the purposes of this, we'll assume that four spades would be rolling, i.e. wanting 
east to carry on Q-bidding if they can. Um, and that for no trumps is actually just Roman key cards, uh, which is probably how most people would play this. Until we get into asking bids, that is. Clearly we're missing one ace here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one it is. So that was an example of a, a forcing new suit at the three level. Uh, now we'll just, just to confirm it, we'll just have a look at the uh, the idea of an invitational bid. So, although we're only playing a 10 to 12 one no trump by West here because we're not vulnerable, um, don't forget OCP. No, sorry, you're right. I was getting ahead of myself, Eduardo. <laughs> um, so, although one no trump by west is only 10 to 12 uh, we've got a really nice uh, 13 count here with east and a nice six card spade suit so it's inconceivable that they're not going to at least invite when they have five controls uh, including excellent control of ops diamond suit um, but by the same token east doesn't really want to force the game here um, after all, West might have an absolute rock bottom 10 count and a small doubleton in spades and you could end up um, going well off in four spades if, if West has an unsuitable hand. So this is a good hand for East to invite. So he starts off with the 2-no trump 11 sold bid. West bids three clubs, which is what they've been asked to do. It doesn't matter what West has, because they have no idea what the 2-no trump bid is based on. So they always just bid three clubs if uh, South doesn't bid anything over 2-no trumps. So we could have bid spades, two spades competitively, so the, th the slow three spades is now invitational. Uh, West has got a maximum, they've got decent support for spades, so they're quite happy to accept the invite.
Okay, so that's we've covered now the three sorts of scenarios when new suits are concerned. Uh, has anybody got any questions before we move on to looking at qubits and uh, bids of three no trumps? The point is, Ruth, is that no, there's well, it, there's no. No Lebensol if the overcall is at the three level. And Ruth, to go back to your question, um, if if East bid two spades, it would be only competitive. In other words, not wanting West to bid anything. It's effectively saying, I've got a weakish hand with spades. Um, please just pass. You know, I think we can probably make two spades but I'm not interested in going any further okay three spades would be game forcing and as I said before Ruth I, I don't think East is quite good enough to force to game um, when West may have a bare 10 because one no Trump by West is 10 to 12 <coughs> here as alerted um, so if West's got a bare 10 count and only a double a small doubleton in spades you don't really want to be in four spades um, you know you could be well off okay so so here East wants to invite in spades and the way to do that is to bid two no trumps which is the Lebensol bid simply asking partner to bid three clubs and now when they bid three spades, it's a slow three spades, and so it's invitational. Aha! You mean the vo for voice, uh, Mary? Okay, Ruth, does that answer your question as to why we he starts off this sequence with two no trumps? Ruth, can you hear me? Maybe she's not got voice. They're all still here, Naomi. Oh, no. No, it's more, more than normal. Is there? Naomi says hi, by the way, everybody. Sanya says hi. Hi, Sanya. Can they hear me? Mm, probably. But I don't want to turn this into a... Oh, fuck you. I've got a bit of fun in the mic. Uh-huh. They're accusing you of smooching in the background. That was probably the parrot, actually. If Naomi and I start having a cuddle, he tends to start blowing kisses at us. Naomi hopes you're all set for Christmas. Um, some.
Okay, very important that you get this right at the start. That there are, uh, unless they've been clubs, which I'll come to shortly, um, there are two kinds of cubids. A fast cubid, where you immediately cubid their suit, and a slow cubid, where you go via two no trumps, three clubs first. Um, the fast cubid denies having a stop in their suit, and a slow cubid promises a stop in their suit, as well as having four card interest in an unbid major. So, we'll just show you a, an example here. Okay, so we've got a 13 to 15 one no trump opposite here. And South's got a nice, reasonably nice 12 count. So they want to bid game. Um, they've got decent values in spades, given the two spade overcall, but they've also got four card hearts. And if partner's just got a small doubleton in spades, it may well be that four hearts is actually going to play better if they've also got four hearts. So the way we can show South's hand here is a slow bit of three spades. Ooh, you've got a new admirer, Naomi. Eduardo. Eduardo Bracaras from Argentina. He said, hi, Naomi. Slow three spades here is totally game forcing. Um, it promises a spade stop because it's a slow three spades. It promises four card hearts and it promises uh, a hand that's happy to play in three no trumps if North doesn't have four card heart support. In other words, essentially, it's a balanced hand with stops in spades, or at least one stop in spades, and four card hearts. It won't be five card hearts, because otherwise, uh, South would use a different sequence. They would probably have, have either bid three hearts over two spades, or bid a slow three spades if they weren't quite worth a game force. So three no trumps here isn't saying I've got lots of stuff in spades. It's simply saying I don't have four card hearts. South has promised the spade stops. So, so North doesn't have to have a spade stop here. Because South's promised it. In fact, you're probably going to make 11 tricks here, but uh, that's by the by. Just bear with me a second. All right, okay. Um,
Next hand here. So again here, 13 to 15, one no trump from west. Um, east got a decent uh, 10 count, uh, 12 count rather. But here, although they've got four card spades, they don't have any help in hearts. Now, um, it's worth actually just mentioning one thing in passing here. Because three hearts is game forcing, um, there's something called the principle of fast arrival operates here. So three spades is saying, basically, I've got four card spades. And if you've got a hand that's stronger than a mere game force, then I'm happy to cooperate with a Q bidding sequence to, to play in more than just four spades. Because if West bids four spades here, it's effectively weaker than three spades. Three spades is a stronger hand. Because if West wasn't interested in anything more than playing in four spades, they would just bid four spades over three hearts because three hearts is game forcing anyway, showing four card spades. So if West has four card spades, three spades is showing a maximum with decent controls, basically, um, in case East is stronger. In practice, East has no slam ambitions at all, um, so they'll just sign off in four spades. It's worth just noting that in passing. Any questions? If he hasn't got spades, he would probably bid three no trumps because he does have a heart stop. Um, on the other hand, if West had three card spades, okay, if West doesn't have a stop in hearts and they've only got two spades, then probably they'll uh, bid a four card minor at the four level. OK, and that basically would say, listen, I, I really can't tolerate spades if you've only got four of them. I don't have a heart stop either. You know, can we maybe play in a minor? But there are times when um, supposing West only had two small hearts here. And three card spades and were four four in the minors. They might bid four spades even though uh, they've only got three card spade support because it's probably easier to make four spades on a four three fit than it is to make five clubs or five diamonds on a possible four four fit. So it's not unknown for us to to end up playing in a known moisin at the four level. Uh, when Responder has denied a stop in their suit and Opener effectively only has a doubleton, a small doubleton in it 
or maybe even something like Ace X, where clearly it's dangerous to start trying to play in three no trumps when we have Ace and another opposite hand that's showing no stop in the suit. Uh, where you know that ops are going to lead that suit in the first place, unless you can rattle off nine tricks, um, you're going to be going off. So it may well be better to play in four spades on a 4-3 fit. Um, and uh, try and make ten tricks in spades, rather than trying to make eleven tricks in a minor. Okay, Isabel? Okay. Okay, this is just a matter of partnership um, agreement, really, and you can make your own decision on, on to whether this. So if it goes one no trump, two clubs over call, three clubs. Now, is this definitely promising both major suits or maybe just one of the major suits my personal preference but there's no reason why you have to follow this uh, it's entirely up to you and your regular partner is that if I'm denying a stop in their suit and they've overcalled a minor and I'm, I'm making a fast cubid uh, of their suit then I've definitely got both of the, the unbid majors. So here, one no trump, two diamonds, three diamonds would be promising both four card suits in hearts and spades. But if I'm promising a stop in their suit, then I don't have to have both majors. I might only have one of them. So opener would, would show a four card major if they can. Um, in the knowledge that we can always play in three no trumps if we don't actually have a major suit fit. Uh, like I said, there's nothing to say that you have to play it. cubids of a minor suit like that. Um, but I think that seems to me to be the most sensible way. So even if you have got a stop in their suit, you might have both majors. Um, but if you're denying a stop in their suit, then you definitely do have both majors if it's a minor suit overcall. So the idea of fast denies and slow promises um, cuts right through Levensol. Uh, and, and there is an extremely good reason why it's that way round and not the other way round. In practice, if you look at people playing Levensol, you are unlikely ever to see anybody playing that fast shows and slow denies. And I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you why. Okay, so imagine the situation just shown there, where they've overcalled two spades. And supposing you were playing um, that slow denies and fast promises. So. Um, if you didn't have a spade stop here, you would be, but you had four card hearts and you had a game forcing hand, you would be wanting to make a slow cubit of their suit. Okay. Um, so if you bid two no trumps 
and your left hand opponent now bids three spades in front of partner he's going to pass automatically because he has to because he doesn't know what your two no trump bid was based on the bidding comes back to you and now you're completely stuffed you don't know whether they've got spades you don't know whether they've got a spade uh, sorry whether they've got a spade stop you don't know whether they've got four card hearts or not and so you're you're absolutely stuck whereas if the slow cue bid which is what you were intending the slow cue bid of three spades was going to promise a stop now you're not stuck when you were going to deny a spade stop you would have bid three spades over two spades so you get your hand off your chest and because you you have got a stop in spades the slow cue bid of of three spades is okay because even if west bids three spades now when the bidding comes back to you you can either double it to show four card hearts in other words you were going to make a slow cubit of three spades or you can bid three no trumps yourself to show that you were going to bid a slow three no trumps anyway so you're not stuck and that's the reason why it's it's very important that you play that slow promises and fast denies and in practice I've never ever seen anybody that I can remember anyway um, playing it any other way than that for exactly that reason no you can't I, I'll I'm gonna come to the club suit in a minute Isabel um, the club suit always causes uh, Levensol a little bit of a problem um, mainly because uh, anybody else lost sound just bear with me Susie, do you see why, now that I've explained it, why it's so important to play that fast denies and slow promises? Okay, just bear with me a second. Okay. If, if you look, Susie, by the way, I don't. You don't have to take my word for it. Um, okay. Uh, you don't have to take my word for it, Susie. Um, any article on Levensol will essentially say the same thing. Um, okay right somebody asked about clubs okay so so I mentioned before that clubs gives Levensol a little bit of a problem um, and it's in more than one sense that it does so if it goes one no trump and an overcall of two clubs effectively you've only got the fast qubit available you could potentially uh, make a slow qubit at the four level in other words one no trump overcall of two clubs two no trumps eleven sol three clubs force relay four clubs but now when partner I mean that would potentially show a club stop and interested in an unbid major but the trouble is you've gone past three no trumps now and so that doesn't really work um, 
and the other thing is, is is that whatever if ops overcall something other than clubs you can't invite in clubs below the level of three no trumps because if it goes one no trump overcall of two diamonds you bid two no trumps asking part to bid three clubs you could pass three clubs if you just wanted to compete in clubs but if you want to invite in clubs you've got to go to four clubs and so you've now given up the chance of playing in three no trumps um, so clubs does give Levensol a problem and basically that applies almost whatever version whether you're playing transfer Levensol or normal Levensol similar problems apply uh, and there's nothing you can do about it it's just uh, something has to give when the three club bid by opener over your two no trump bid is just a forced relay that's the last chance to to bid three clubs at the three level So as I've said there, a fast 3-0 no trump is often based on a long minor that you're expecting to run. Um, and so it's not saying you've got to pass 3-0 no trumps. It's saying, listen, I think we can make 3-0 no trumps as long as you've got some stops in their suit. But at least it's telling partner that you don't. But it does think it does say that you think you can make nine tricks but of course it's only going to be if partner can stop their suit if they can't stop their suit then obviously you need to run um, and that's why it's helpful if you've got a long minor because that's the most likely time when you think you can run say six tricks in your minor suit if partners if you've got a game forcing hand as well um, then uh, you've got a good chance of making four clubs or four diamonds or even five clubs or five diamonds if partner can't stop their suit so it's a useful bid to have um, but most often the fast three no trumps is based on uh, a longish minor where you're expecting to make most of your tricks there I'll give you a couple of examples of that So what are we to do here? We've got a 10 to 12 one no trump from East. And uh, West has got a nice 15 count here. So you certainly want to be in game. Um, but they... And so we, we certainly don't want to go past three no trumps. Because that may well be the best spot. It may be the only making spot. Uh, we haven't got four card hearts. So we're not interested in cubids. So here, so this is effectively, it's also denying possession of four card hearts because otherwise you would be making a fast cubid, but it's denying a spade stop 
but promising game forcing values and like I said most often it's going to be based on a long minor like West has here uh, East has got Ace Jack X which is perfectly good enough on a spade lead from uh, south they can afford to hold up um, but in practice they can see nine tricks as long as the diamonds aren't five nil if East didn't have a spade stop then obviously they would run to four clubs because they don't know whether West has got clubs or diamonds West would bid four diamonds and uh, possibly the bidding would be allowed to rest there um, the fact that West is interested in playing in 3-0 trumps if East has got a spade stop doesn't mean you're necessarily committed to playing in five diamonds when there's no guarantee that you're going to have ten tricks uh, sorry eleven tricks rather uh, you could bid five diamonds and in practice it's probably going to make here um, you're going to lose one club and one spade and that's all you're going to lose but there's no there's no guarantee of that and uh, so if you start running over three no trumps there is an option for somebody to bail out at the four level if they really don't fancy five any questions Not over one, no trump. I'm going to come to doubles in a minute, Michael. Uh, we don't play negative doubles when partners opened one, no trump. But I'm going to, Michael, bear with me. I'm going to come to doubles in just a minute. I've just got one more hand to show first. So 13, 13 to 15, one no trump from south. So again, here, the, the slow 3-0 trumps is promising a stop in diamonds, denying any interest in any of the unbid majors, and promising game values. In other words, basically, the slow 3-0 trumps is always to play. Uh, and even though... South's got 4-4 in the majors. He knows there's no point thinking that that might be a better contract because uh, A, they've got a diamond stop as well, but also uh, North has denied having a four-card major. If they had a four-card major, they would have bid a slow three diamonds to promise a diamond stop and show an interest in a major. Now South would bid three hearts and North would either bid three hearts or bid three spades and you would get to game in a minor in sorry in the in a major but since North has denied any interest in uh, the majors South's quite happy just to pass three no trumps
Okay. Um, somebody asked about doubles. Okay, so a double by responder over their two level overcall is essentially 100% for penalties. Most often, uh, it would normally show the sort of values that would be thinking about making an invitation towards three no trumps. And so depending on the vulnerability, the one no trump opener can either leave the double in for penalties, because it is a penalty double, or if we're vulnerable and they're not vulnerable, um, opener might convert to three no trumps on the basis that uh, making three no trumps is probably going to be worth more to us than taking them two or three off not vulnerable, which is only going to be worth 500 compared to 600 or 630 to bidding and making three no trumps. But it's entirely up to opener as to whether they pass the double or not. But it is essentially a penalty double. We do not play uh, stolen bid doubles. We don't play a double as negative, promising four card spades or four card hearts um, or both four card majors even. Because we've got the cue bids for those, the slow and fast cue bids and the slow and fast bids of um, three no trumps to deny interest in the majors. If you've got a weak hand with both majors, you just have to lump it and pass. Um, you know, if you've got a hand that's only worth a competing, but you've got 4-4 four, four in the majors and it's gone one no trump, two clubs, overcall, you just have to pass because you can't safely bid anything here if you're only wanting to compete because there's no guarantee that partner's going to have a four card major and it's crazy to commit yourself um, to possibly playing at the three level in something when you're only wanting to compete at the two level. Ugh. Does that answer your question, Michael? Okay, I'm just going to repeat this business of, of why um, slow promises and fast denies because it's so important. And if there's anybody that's not sure, please pin your log holes back. Um, and I apologize if you have got this completely, but it's so important that you understand why. Um, because some people think it's illogical, and in, in a sense it is illogical. But it's very important that you play it this way around. And although I've said there that that uh, you can, in practice nobody does.
<laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Ruth.
don't forget, guys, the uh, the vulnerable one no trump. If you don't observe that, you're not going to open one no trump on some of these hands. So if you're not vulnerable, one no trump, exactly. One no trump, Susie, please. If you open this one club, then you're not going to have a Levin soul thing. One no trump is variable. It's 10 to 12 not vulnerable and 13 to 15 vulnerable. If you don't play OCP, then uh, it may take a bit of getting used to, but I'll remind you if, uh, if you miss it. No problem, Susie. It's, uh, you're not the first, and you certainly won't be the last. If you don't play precision, you tend to treat all one no trumps as 13 to 15. If you play Akol, you tend to assume they're 12 to 14. Um, Um, no, Susie, you probably shouldn't here, um, because Three Hearts is only competing. We'll talk about this hand in a minute. Okay. Um, lead and claim, please. Elliot's you to lead. Doesn't matter what you lead, Ellie. Don't worry about it. Is that so you can demand a redeal, Susie? Just claim eight tricks, uh, Paula. That's all you're going to make here. Or rather, it ought to be all you make. In fact, you're probably only going to make seven. Okay. It would, but I think the tournament director might have something to say about it. Okay, so what went wrong here? There was a hand earlier where we had a 10 to 12 one no trump. Uh, and partner only invited with a 13 count this is a, a different hand if you cast your mind back to the other one um, West had or Responder had more scattered values they didn't have a second suit um, whereas here all of West points are in their long suits They've got the, the singleton in spades, which is a critical thing. Personally, I force 
with the west hand. So a fast three hearts over two spades. Is forcing with five, probably with six card hearts. Uh, I feel it is, Paula, yes. But uh, um, the trouble is, you see, South doesn't know either what the 2 no trump bid is based on. You could be walking into a world of hurt here when you bid three diamonds. The fact is, you know, three spades is potentially going to be um, three off doubled vulnerable for minus 800. Um, it's unlikely that two spades is going to get doubled, but it's unlikely that three spades isn't. Indeed, you were incredibly lucky not to be doubled in three spades. Certainly, if West had bid three spades, sorry, three hearts over two spades, forcing, and North bid three spades, I would expect East to double at this vulnerability. So it's a matter for West whether they compete or force. Um, uh, personally, with, with that uh, hand, I would force every time. It's just too good. Even opposite a minimum hand, a minimum 10 count with only two small hearts, uh, you've got a fancy four spades. I think we already did claim, didn't we? Okay. Do you see what I mean, Ellie? I think you should bid a fast three hearts here, not a slow one. Because you don't have a, you don't have an invitational hand, a, an invitational bid, because their suit is higher ranking. So if you're playing. If you were playing, Ellie, if you were playing transfer Levin Sol, now, as we'll see next week, you would have an invitational bid in hearts. And so it's a matter for you whether you invite in hearts or force in hearts. But when you're playing standard Levin Sol, because their suit is higher ranking, you don't have that option. It's either compete or force. And I think with the West Hand on, on that second board... I think you have to err in, in favour of forcing. Um,
Okay. Um, North South are actually anticipating next week's lesson here. <laughs> um. So before anybody gets confused, this is actually showing transfer level solid operation. Um, where three diamonds is a, if you like, a transfer to hearts, which is their suit. And so it takes the place of the fast qubit of hearts. Um, so here, three diamonds were showing game values, no heart stop and four card spades. Uh, I think personally I bid four spades with the south hand rather than three spades. The principle of fast arrival, um, because South has no control of hearts and not very good controls anyway. Um, so, so personally. Spiro, OCP plays transfer leb over one no trump. No, transfer leb. But I haven't covered transfer leb yet. That comes next week. I'd, I'd actually rather that you didn't play transfer leb, even if you know it. Because I'm trying to show people normal leb and soul this week. Uh, next week, you can play transfer leb and soul to your heart's content, and that's fine. Um, and of course... Anybody who, who plays OCP will know that we play Transfer Leb in lots of situations. But uh, tr uh, Transfer Levensol is hugely better than normal Levensol. Um, but uh, so, so here it would have been better, to be honest, if North South were playing standard Levensol and Esther would just bid three hearts over two hearts, which would be the fast qubit of hearts. Um, but no worries. Uh, so I think I think personally with that's a yes, without stopper you wouldn't bid three no trumps here, not a chance. Um, so the, the right sequence playing standard eleven sol on this would be one no trump, two hearts, three hearts, four spades. And four spades would be showing absolutely no interest in going further unless north was incredibly strong. Um, whereas three spades would be showing a maximum with good controls uh, and prepared to cooperate with a, a cue bidding sequence if north feels like it. Because, because the fast cue bid of their suit is game forcing and showing four card spades if uh, south has spades they could potentially bid three spades or four spades and the principle of fast arrival says that four spades is weaker than three spades three spades is a more encouraging way personally with a with an 11 count with two jacks and only three controls um, I just bid four spades over three three hearts, or three diamonds if you're playing transfer eleven sol. Okay, any questions before we move on? We have got time for another couple of hands, hopefully.
Are you thinking of bidding here, Paula? Brave soul, if you are. Okay, so this is a slow qubit of, of Norse heart. So this is promising a heart stop and promising four spades and promising game values. Yes, but you've seen the light, Susie. <laughs> it's like Saul on the road to Damascus. <laughs> Yeehaw! No, maybe not. Um, actually, Susie, uh, I don't care what you play um, as far as Roman Keycard Blackwood's concerned because I never use it. Uh, OCP, which is the system that I play and I teach, doesn't use Roman Keycard Blackwood ever. Four no trumps would never be uh, Blackwood um, because we have asking bids instead. But uh, I have no preference between... 1430 or 3014 if I am playing um, Roman key card which is only if I'm with a pickup partner playing two over one or standard American or Ackle uh, to my mind there's, there's nothing really to choose between them Right, wait no longer, Esther to lead. Okay, I think we'll play this one out. If you don't mind. But just try and play it reasonably quickly, if you would. We might still get one more hand in after this. But I do want to talk about this one. Um, there's some, some important things here.
yeah, Susie, that's exactly what I want to talk about, actually. Um, but I'll wait until they, till Ellie's finished playing the hand, and then we can discuss the bidding slightly. And it all has to do with this principle of fast arrival, uh, yet again, uh, which is very important that uh, you're both on the same wavelength. Okay, um, this hand's all going to come down to, what, since uh, North has been kind enough to uh, lead their two aces, it's all going to come down to how West decides to play the spade suit. Um, but the real issue is the bidding. Um, over the the slow bit of three hearts personally as west I would be terrified of heart roughs by south because normally if uh, north is going to bid two hearts they will have a better heart suit than that and probably six cards in them and normally for the slow three hearts, it's likely that East has got three card hearts. So I would be terrified of, of heart roughs in the south hand. Um, but the other thing is, is that West doesn't have that good a hand. It's a, it's a fairly nice 14 count, but their controls aren't very good. And potentially their king of hearts is, is not in the right place. Um, and uh, so personally I would have bid four spades over three hearts not three spades three spades effectively is inviting cue bids it's showing a maximum which West doesn't have they've only got a 14 count a maximum with good controls and a hand that's happy to cooperate with cue bids it's not saying that you're not prepared to operate to cooperate with cubids, but it's almost inviting cubids if East has got something like a 15 count as well. Um, and uh, the other thing is that over three spades as East, I wouldn't have bid four no trumps in a million years. Um, Again, if North has six spades, six hearts rather, you've got four, you know partner's got two. I don't think either of you should be going past four spades, Paula. I don't think, uh, I don't think West should because they should be worried about uh, heart roughs. Um, and their hand isn't quite good enough to bid three spades. East with four card hearts next to a probable six card heart suit, knowing that partner must have two because they opened uh, one no trump, means that they know that South has at most, at most a singleton and might be void. So... Both East West should be worried about heart, uh, spade roughs, sorry, heart roughs here. Um, and East is pushing it. Um, to go straight to four no trumps. There's too much missing opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump. OK, one more hand quickly and then we'll call it a night. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to try and find an interesting one. Okay. 
Okay. That principle of fast arrival is very, very valuable, but it is important that you and partner are both on the same wavelength um, if you're going to use it. And you need to have sort of almost discussed sequences like that. Uh, you know, if Westwood bid four spades over over um, three hearts, there's nothing to stop East from. Um, from starting a cue bidding sequence, even if West bids four spades, but at least they know that that West may be lower range for their one no trump opening, and may not have that suitable a hand, but they have got four card spades. Right, Esther, would you would you please bid? Esther, would you mind bidding two spades rather than three spades? Yeah. I know you might bid three spades at the table, but it slightly um, undoes the hand because it means <laughs> that we don't have Levensol. It's more than too many hearts, Susie. Yes, please don't uh, forget John's practices at... Uh, nine o'clock UTC or UK four o'clock EST on Sundays um, they're almost always targeted hands on what I've covered today and they're really good uh, voice support via BBO um, really worth going along because it helps to cement exactly what I've been talking about today in your hands by playing lots of practice hands targeted at that kind of usage uh, tomorrow yes Sunday so here <laughs> Well, okay. I think, if you don't mind, Susie, I'm actually not going to let you undo. I'm just going to send the hand again and you can rebid it. Uh, I would have cubed four spades for sure. Um, just hang a second. I'm just going to send the hand again. Because with the undos, my uh, bidding diagram gets completely messed up and uh, it ends up crashing my Windows BBO client if I let the auction go on for too long. So just bid the hand again if you wouldn't mind. 10 to 12, one no trump from West. No, it's a known, it's a known BBO bug. Um... There's not that many of them, but that is one of them. Ellie, just, just open one no trump again, if you would. We're just going to bid the hand again.
Okay, so this is game forcing, four card hearts, um, no spade stop. But I think East is too good just to pass here. And I think, to be honest with you, they're too good to bid six hearts, um, which is giving up too easily. So I would bid four spades, which must be a void. Well, the only okay, the only difference really is that it's you can freely, you can freely bid. Right, but they could bid, for example, here Ellie can bid four no trumps, which is showing uh, no first round control of clubs, or if. You could bid five clubs. I would bid four no trumps. But uh, that's fine. So now you know they've got the king of clubs. Uh, you could bid five diamonds as a cubid. Four no trumps would be rolling. Um, Do you want coffee? Uh, um, yes, please. Decaf, but decaf, decaf please. Um, sorry, I'm being offered a cup of coffee. Uh, I've never been known to refuse. Uh, okay, it, it depends. Well, rolling is... Again, you, you have to appreciate, Sousa, that w personally, uh, I would never play four no trumps as Blackwood. Uh, when, you bid four, when you bid four spades, yes, it's possible that West would bid four no trumps as Roman key card if you're not playing asking bids. Um, and so now you would be bidding um, five diamonds if you're playing one four naught three um, because you've already shown the spade void. There's no read <laughs> double calf. Yeah, right. Uh, you'll be getting the Egyptian coffee, won't you, Walid? <laughs> Okay, so now five hearts is rolling because you've not missed out any cubits. Uh, so five hearts isn't backing off. It's just saying I don't have anything else to show at the moment. So now East can bid six clubs. East can bid six clubs. No, it's already gone to five hearts, so you could bid five spades, but you've already shown your spade void. Um, now West can bid seven diamonds, and now you have no problem bidding seven hearts. There's lots of ways of getting to seven hearts here, and this this isn't necessarily the best one, um, but it's certainly a way of getting seven hearts. Ellie, I think you have to show your king of diamonds here. Well, the thing is, if you haven't. Charlene, if you haven't uh, missed out any cubits, you haven't missed out any suits, then, thank you very much, Brenda, um, then a bit of the agreed trump suit or a bit of, say, four no trumps can be just rolling. In other words, it's just saying, you know, I don't have anything else I can show without wasting space here. Um, so over... Over four spades, four no trumps, if you weren't playing that as Blackwood, would just be saying, mm, I like the idea of carrying on cue bidding, but I don't have the ace of clubs. Show it if you've got it. Right, very nicely bid, guys. Well done. Um, uh, a nice hand to finish off with. Uh, you won't find that many pairs getting to seven here. Um... Most will end up punting six, like Susie did initially. But I'm a great fan of cubiting sequences. 
<laughs> okay, well done everybody. Um, just hang on a minute. Okay, so please come back next week um, for Transfer 11 Sol um, and uh, go along to John's practice tomorrow night and that will help cement what I've covered tonight in your, in your uh, capacious brains. Um, feel free to bring asthma, sorry asthma, feel free to bring aspirin next week. It's a little bit more complicated than it was this week. Uh, especially if you play Levensol already but have never tried Transfer Levensol, do come back next week because uh, Transfer Levensol is massively better than normal Levensol. It, it solves um, some of the problems that normal Levensol has. All right, everybody, night all, and uh, hopefully see you next week. Bye for now.